Hello, my name is Clifford Crawford, and um, I'm sorry. Oh, the pieces I created for this show um, covered a wide variety of topics. The first piece that I created was called uh, Chapter and Verse, and Chapter and Verse was based upon my initial impression after reading Deuteronomy chapter 28, when the Most High talks about uh, for individuals, for people that follow the commandments and how that they will be blessed, and for those that are not, that do not follow his commandments, ultimately they will pay the price as the Egyptians did and they will suffer the same fate and the same curses. Uh, it also goes into details, it says that those individuals too would also be shipped off to other lands and throughout, the, throughout God's kingdom. And uh, I applied that towards the uh, African American experience, being that there were over 15 million African Americans or Africans that were shipped out throughout the world from the West Indies to Africa, to South America, to Europe. And so that piece was very powerful for me. And what it said was, yes, this is a piece that talks about our history as African Americans. It's written in the Bible, so here it is, and this is what it means to me. So if you want to know more about it, check it out. I think it's worth reading. The second piece is called The Struggle. The Struggle is a depiction of where we are in the United States from the standpoint from which we were slaves up until the time where we are now. And it's a general piece that shows a hand and a globe with the continent of Africa on it that says that yes, we're still struggling with some of the issues that were presented to us by our oppressors, uh, which involves, I mean, slavery and the mentality. However, there are aspects of the uh, what has happened with our oppressors that are still carried on today, even though technically we're not slaves uh, in the system. And what I mean by that is, is that the dissension among our own people when we talk about uh, jealousy, envy, em jelly, envy, jealousy, oh, I'm sorry, envy, mistrust, and I can't remember the third one. Anyway, but it is a means in which we as a people that we have to address amongst ourselves how we treat ourselves and how we respect ourselves. There are things that we also have to be aware of uh, from the standpoint of the issues of where there's uh, the economic aspect. And when you take into consideration that um, I've read where there's out of every dollar that is spent, uh, the, the, the uh, African American community keeps four cents. So that tells you as a community that we have to be more assertive and relying on ourselves, but work together and support each other. Uh, my third piece is called Know Your Roots. Know Your Roots is uh, a journalization to say it's important to know who your family is, where you come from, but also know who are the people around you that support you. It's important that we, we, we're in this together, and it's important that we understand not only our people, but that we as a people, we are far greater than what we've been ever told about in our history books in the United States. I mean, the Europeans have done a job on us as far as keeping things about where we are, and we're definitely greater than what they betray us as being second-class citizens or slaves. And in summary, the piece itself, this is Know Your Roots. Again, you need to look at who you are, who we are, and look around you that who can be a positive influence on you. Uh, one of the benefits to be in this exhibit is that we've had all these great artists that have produced their work that's been, you know, hard blood and soul. So the benefit for me is that I've got to actually have a community of artists that we get to interact with. Um, I mean, we talk about art, we talk about politics, but we get to express ourselves. And uh, the, the, the board members have been great with working with individuals to help get your artwork sold, but we as artists also have to realize that we need to do our part to help out with selling art, but also giving back to the community. So this is an opportunity for us to do that, and I really appreciate this opportunity.